Okay, how daring do you think you are? Well, let's find out. Would you jump off of a high dive? Okay, well, a lot of people do that. Let's try another one. Would you ride a giant roller coaster? Really? Wow, I'm impressed. Those can be pretty scary. All right, let's see who our real daredevils are. Would you go bungee jumping? Oh, wow, that looks wild. Look at how high they are. Now, if you would be really nervous to go bungee jumping, or even if you wouldn't go at all, I wouldn't blame you. It looks really scary. Those people are really close to hitting the ground. And the only thing keeping you safe from crashing is that one bungee cord. How do you know it won't break and hit the ground? Well, that leads us to our big question for the day. How do we know bungee jumpers won't hit the ground? To answer this question, we need to gather some info. When someone goes bungee jumping, they start at a very high point. They are then attached to this long bungee cord. Then they take a deep breath, count to three, and jump! The bungee cord then stretches down until it snaps back up the person before they crash into the ground. You see, bungee cords are made from elastic materials. That means they're very stretchy. You can think of them like giant rubber bands or hair ties. And just like rubber bands, when you stretch them, they snap back to their original shape. If the bungee cord stretches too far though, the person will hit the ground before it can snap back. So before anyone can use the bungee cord, it has to be tested. Bungee cord designers have to prove that their cords are safe before any person can use them. How can we test the bungee cord before people use it? To test the cords, they get giant cranes that are usually used to build huge tall skyscrapers. The designers attach the cords to the crane and they go high up into the sky. Now, even though we can't test with a person, they still need to make it realistic. So instead of a person, they will attach weights to the cord to act like a person. Now let's start with a small weight, like 50 pounds. They add the 50 pounds to the cord and then drop it. Even with the cord completely stretched out, it's still very far from the ground. This means it would be safe for someone who is 50 pounds to use this cord. But not everybody weighs 50 pounds. What if you're bigger than that? We need to add more weight. Let's move it up to 100 pounds. Will the cord now stretch the same amount, get closer to the ground, or not as close to the ground. Once again, the crane goes up but now with 100 pounds instead of 50. The weight and cord are dropped. This time, the cord stretches a little bit closer to the ground but it's still a safe distance. This means it would be safe for someone who is 100 pounds to use the cord. Let's increase the weight a lot this time. Let's try 200 pounds. Ready? Okay, three, two, one, drop. This time, we can see that the weight causes the bungee cord to stretch out much further. It doesn't crash into the ground, but it does get extremely close. It is not safe for someone who is 200 pounds or more to use this cord. Since this cord has now been tested, it can now be used for real bungee jumps with real people. Based on these tests, do you think that an 80 pound person will be safe to use this cord? Yes, it is safe for an 80 pound person to use this bungee cord. We can predict that the bungee cord will not stretch too close to the ground based on our test jumps with the weights. So let's go back to our big question. How do we know bungee jumpers won't hit the ground? Well, bungee cord designers use weights to test how the bungee cord will stretch and then snap back. They need to make sure it will not reach the ground. They can use these tests to predict how far the cord will stretch when real people go bungee jumping. Now that you've gathered the info, it's time to show what you learned. It's very important that bungee cords not only stretch, but they also snap back into place. However, anything made out of elastic materials will eventually stretch out. Think about old rubber bands, hair ties, and even socks. Eventually, they all stop being stretchy. 
Bungee cords are no exception to this. Because of this, the cords are not only tested when they're first made, they're also tested after many jumps. We don't want the cords crashing into the ground or even snapping. Let's look at one standard bungee cord across many jumps. When it was first used, the cord did not stretch very far. The person jumping ended up being 50 feet from the ground. After a thousand jumps, the person jumping was now 40 feet from the ground. Then, after 2,000 jumps, the person jumping was now 30 feet from the ground. Now we're starting to get a little too close for comfort. Based on this data, can you predict how far the bungee cord will be from the ground after 3,000 jumps? Based on this data, after 3,000 jumps, we can predict that the cord will be 20 feet from the ground. The cord is becoming too stretchy and getting too close to the ground. Now that you've shown what you've learned, let's recap. Bungee jumping looks extremely scary, but the cords are tested regularly to keep you safe. Scientists can measure the motion of an object to predict how it will move. That's all for this time. Don't forget to keep asking questions.